What's going on everybody, DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Fact Sheet Friday featuring two new pieces of equipment from the Borgo DLC for Farming Simulator 19. Today, we're gonna take a look at the Borgo 71300 air cart and the 3420-100 Paralink hoe drill, as well as break down the new trailer featuring these implements and the John Deere 9RX. We're also gonna take a closer look at some of the other pieces of machinery coming up with this DLC when it releases on March 10th, 2020, for Farming Simulator 19 on all platforms, PlayStation 4, Xbox One, PC, and Mac. If you want to pre-order the DLC on PC or Mac, I will have a link below where you can get it, and that link helps support the channel so that we can keep doing awesome things for you every single day. Let's check it out. First up today, we are going to take a look at the Borgo 71300 air cart. This is going to be found in the shop under tools and in cedars. This is used as an additional tank to be trailed behind an air drill or hoe drill like we have in this DLC. Base price is going to be $331,500 and is perfectly paired to work with the 3420-100 Paralink hoe drill that we will be talking about a little bit later. This holds seed and fertilizer and will hold 45,810 liters of combined seed and fertilizer. The actual numbers of the separated mounts are not known. This trailer tank is also the only thing available and known to have duels all the way around in its class, which makes it look almost invincible. Compared to the Vaderstat Seedhawk 980 air cart, which is going to be the only thing like this that we have in the game, the Seedhawk is $185,000 to purchase, which is $146,000 cheaper than the Borgo. However, the Seedhawk can only hold 34,500 liters of combined seed and fertilizer compared to the 45,810 liters in the Borgo. If we do some quick math here, it costs about $7.23 per liter of seed or fertilizer in the Borgo and about $5.36 per liter of seed or fertilizer in the Seed Hawk. That's nearly $2 more per liter of capacity in the Borgo. However, the Borgo has a secret and that lies within the capabilities of the air drill. So let's talk about it. Here we have the Borgo 3420-100 Paralink hoe drill. It's going to be found in the shop under tools and in cedars. This has a cost of $331,500, exactly the same as the air cart, making it a combined cost of $663,000 to use both of them together. Granted, money doesn't really matter in Farm Sub anymore. It's super easy to cheat it in on any platform. The Paralink Hoe Drill has a power requirement of only 600 horsepower, which is very impressive compared to the Seedhawk, which we'll talk about soon. The Borgo also has a working speed of 11 miles per hour or 18 kilometers per hour. It pairs perfectly with the previously mentioned 71300 air cart. This is a direct drill, so no previous cultivation is required, and it will plant seven crops, including wheat, barley, oats, canola, soybeans, cover crop, and grass. The real party piece of this air drill is the working width, 30.5 meters or 100 feet. Oh man, that makes it not only the largest cedar in the game, but it destroys the Seedhawk by five whole meters. Comparatively speaking, the Vaderstat Seedhawk XL toolbar costs $290,000, making it only $40,000 cheaper than the Borgo. And the Seedhawk is only 25.6 meters wide compared to the 30.5 meters wide. Not to mention, the Seedhawk requires at least 640 horsepower to operate, as opposed to only 600 horsepower on the new Borgo. If we compare them by dollars to meter wide, the Borgo is about $10,868 per meter of working width, while the Seedhawk is about $500 per meter higher at $11,328 per meter of working width. These metrics may help you to see that the extra cost is easily justifiable when you see how much more work you can get done without taking a break using the Borgo compared to the Vaderstat Seedhawk. With knowing this information, do you think the Borgo is worth the extra cost? I think it is more than worth it in comparison, and I'm loving the new additions. Speaking of new additions, there are a total of eight new pieces of equipment and machinery coming with the Borgo DLC, including another air drill and trailed tank pair, the 332076 Paralink hoe drill, and the 7950 air cart. These were shown off during the first teaser trailer for the new DLC on Thursday, February 20th. This combination has a 500 horsepower requirement with a working width of 23.3 meters and a total tank capacity of 33,475 liters, including both seed 
and fertilizer. We also have another seeder which has a tank built into it. This is the Borgo FMS CD 872-8 seeder. Goodness gracious, heck of a name. This has a 240 horsepower requirement, 8 meter working width, and a total tank capacity of 7,200 liters. It is unclear if this will include seed and fertilizer or just seed. Also included with this DLC is a cultivator, the Borgo SPS 36050 cultivator with a 480 horsepower requirement and a working width of 12 meters. And the last implement included with the DLC is the Borgo XR770 Harrow, which can be found in the shop under tools and weeders. The XR770 has a power requirement of 350 horsepower and a working width of 21.3 meters. Currently, the largest weeder in the game is the Treffler TS1520-M3, with a power requirement of only 120 horsepower, but as a working width of 15.2 meters, so it is a bit smaller. There is one other thing coming with this DLC, the John Deere 9RX, which will be available to all players. Yes, the John Deere 9RX, which I know you've all been waiting on, will be coming to Farming Simulator 19 on all platforms, PlayStation 4, Xbox One, PC, and Mac. Not much is known about the model that Giants have made, but we do know that it can be found in the store under vehicles and in large tractors, and that it will have between 560 and 670 horsepower. Plenty to pull around anything in this DLC. It will also have a max speed of 24 miles per hour or 40 kilometers, and from what we've seen so far, this will be a European model. And lastly, today we move over to the gameplay trailer that Giants has released. This trailer features the two fact sheet plants that we received today, the Borgo 71300 air cart and the 3420-100 Paralenko drill, as well as the John Deere 9470 RX. Via the John Deere website, this tractor shouldn't be able to pull this setup with only 470 horsepower engine, but we know that the base horsepower requirement for the version in game is going to be 560, so I'm sure that would at least get the job done mostly. Gameplay is on Ravenport near the BGA if you're curious. We get to see the auger for the air cart boom out to accept seed from a grain bin and move on. One of the coolest things about the Paralink Hodrill is the animation. First it folds down from the sides, then unhinges itself from a 50 foot long trailer and turns itself into a 100 foot monster of a drill. There's also a very neat animation of the center wheels and drill as well. From there, it's just business as usual for this amazing air drill, which will be the largest seeder in the game once it is released. Again, if you want to pre-order the Borgo DLC for yourself, I will have links where you can pre-order on PC and Mac in the description below. Not only that, I will have that link in every video from now on. The DLC will be $7.99 for those of you who want to pre-order on PC or console eventually. If you play on console and you have the season pass, you will receive the DLC at no extra cost. Please do not pay to pre-order this DLC if you have the season pass on console you will get it for free once it is released. This is only the fourth paid DLC for Farming Simulator 19 and the fifth official DLC overall. For what it is, I think it is priced very fairly. The first DLC released for FS19 was the Anderson Group Equipment Pack, which was $9.99 USD, released on March 26, 2019, and included 13 new pieces of equipment into the game. The second DLC released was the Homer DLC, which was free to all players and released on May 14th, 2019 and included two new vehicles and six new pieces of equipment, totaling eight new items overall. The third DLC for Farming Simulator 19 was the John Deere Cotton DLC. It was $4.99 USD, released on July 23, 2019, and included one new cotton harvester and six new pieces of equipment, totaling seven new items. The fourth and most recent DLC was the Platinum Expansion, also known as the Kloss DLC. This was $19.99 USD, released on October 22, 2019, and included 15 new vehicles and 26 new pieces of equipment, totaling 41 new items into the game. With the addition of the Borgo DLC as the fifth new installment to FS19, it will cost $7.99 USD, will release on March 10, 2020, and we will be getting one new vehicle and seven new pieces of equipment, totaling eight items overall, bringing our total number of new items into Farming Simulator 19 from DLCs alone to 77, which I think is just awesome. Well guys, that is gonna be it for today. I hope you've enjoyed. If you did, make sure you drop a like on the video, get subscribed to the channel if you're new, join the Gohan fam, and turn that notification bell on so that you never miss a video here on the channel. 
After today, there are only two more Fridays before the release of the DLC, which will be released again on Tuesday, March 10th, 2020. I imagine we will have fact sheets for both of those Fridays, so make sure you stay tuned for that. But with all that being said, I hope you have a great day, and we will see you later. Peace!